free. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi Peace and blessings and salutations be upon all of you. How is the energy tonight? How do you feel actually marching through the streets of Toronto? Give it up your best. How does it feel to be an extension of the resistance that is happening across the entire world? Every single one of you have taken an opportunity to actually be a part of the resistance. We are all here standing as an answer to the call that the spokesperson of the resistance mentioned this morning that he wants the entire diaspora to light up in flames and we have answered the call here in Toronto. Thanks to all of you to actually have a moral conscience in your heart. To actually choose to choose and choose be, to be with us here on this Monday. For you to take time off of your work and your life and to actually be standing here putting this effort here in the streets of Toronto. So, you guys already know why we are here and we're not going to constantly repeat it and you've heard it so many given times. But I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different. Something I usually do, which is I don't usually do speeches, I'm gonna give a poem. So I'm gonna give a poem about what's happening for the past 365 days. This one is called, We're Never Leaving, written by my brother and my friend, Omar Barudi. Here we go. Zionists, one year on, and we're never leaving. Make your predictions, but stop believing. Make your wishes, self-deceiving, corrupt and colonize, lying, thieving, murder the innocent, screaming, grieving, bombs on babies, the world perceiving, shocking, numbing, disbelieving, Geneva conventions, morals fleeting, politicians bought, no intervening, shameless, cowardly, without feeling, no ceasefire, nor relieving. But let me reassure you, we're never leaving. In spirit and in body, the world stands united. Japan to Canada, the same chance recited. Against your colonial apartheid state while you try to hide it. A Zionist, illegitimate stain. Depraved, misguided entitled, perverted, and ultimately short-sighted. Because what happens next? You won't be delighted. You're nothing new and you should be reminded. You're nothing new, the mustache man tried it. You're nothing new, xenophobic, blinded, fascist, racist, however you describe it. Your end is near. You could almost time it. Your end is near, your grips unwinded, the funeral's booked, and you're invited. And I know you like lists, so your name's highlighted. We're here serving Palestinian hummus and falafel drinks provided. For as long as I breathe, the goal is still gleaming. And it's not just me, we're still here screaming. Free, free Palestine, despite your scheming. From the river to the sea, don't twist the meaning. One year on, and we're still teeming. We see through the suits and backdoor dealings. The crocodile tears, we've stopped believing. The fake sincerity, insulting, demeaning. Your, vic your victim cord while Al Jazeera's streaming. The bombs on schools while your meeting's convening. But don't worry because we'll keep repeating the same old line that gets you seething. Free, free Palestine despite the beatings. Free, free Palestine, you're never defeating. Free, free Palestine, we're never conceding. And free, free Palestine, we're never leaving. Woo! 
from Hands for Charity with the yellow vest that have been going around. This is how you can give back more to this ongoing cause. 365 days of ongoing oppression. But why is October 7th so special to us? What happened one year ago? What happened one year ago is an act of resistance for an occupation that lasted 76 years. This is the day that the Palestinians have regained their power and their strength and slapped the occupation on its face. And as you can see, it's self-defeating and it's self-crumbling for all the atrocities that they're actually committing. And they have proved to us that they're expanding this genocide, not just in Gaza, but also in Lebanon and the neighboring countries. Shame! But why are we here? We are calling for actionable items. We want this community, every single one of us here, to do something. Not just actually show up to the demonstrations and not only giving your money. We have to reach out to our MPs. We have to actually wear our kafiyas to work, to school, everywhere you go. Show this Palestinian culture. This is how you actually give back and, and fight back for this cause. We have to hold this Canadian government accountable to every single thing that they are boasting that they are. Canada says that it's a pioneer in human rights around the whole world. But we are the ones holding it accountable for that. Look at all this tax dollars paid up for all these officers just... What are we doing here? We're calling for justice. And every single news outlet that I spoke to this morning wants to go back and tell me, but wait, what happened on October 7th? And I told them it's an act of resistance. And again, they twist the thing around and be like, hey, the Jewish people this, the Jewish people that. But again, what happened on October 7th? I say it's an act of resistance. So all you hear is October 7th, October 7th, October 7th, and they're trying to make it be this second Holocaust. But in fact, it's a day for us that is a very sad day that it's been one entire year and we're still here protesting in the streets of Toronto. One whole year. Shame. 76 years of occupation. You're absolutely right. But again, when they keep saying October 7, October 7, October 7, I have another poem for you. And it's about October 7th. So let me dedicate this October 7th poem back to them. October 7th. October 7th. October 7th, October 7th, October 7th, you keep repeating. October 7th, I keep on reading. October 7th, Zionist tweeting. October 7th, my ears are bleeding. October 7th is not the start. October 7th is not even the last part. October 7th is when people open their eyes and October 7 was no surprise. Oh, man. October 7 is what you get when October 7 is all you have left. October 7 is just a reaction when October 7 is your daily interaction. October 7 is just a fraction, a consequence of an action to the daily contraction, the daily extraction, the daily retraction of the Zionist transaction. October 7 is for the blind. October 7 is just what shined to bring attention to Palestine. While October 7 can stand in line. When you get your justice, 
after I get mine. 1967, 48, 49. Just getting started. Well, let's rewind. Sheikh Jarrah, Tantura, Shatira, Kafar Qasim, Sabra, Gaza, Al Aqsa, Janin, Dar Yassin, Akka. The list goes on. You made me do this. Beit Lahia, Rafah, Al Khalil, Khan Yunus, Haifa, and on and on and on. So the next time you October 7, me, ignoring the clear disparity, I bear witness by He who is in the heavens. Your October 7 is my 24 7. Yeah. Yeah. So, what we have to do is to give back more. What is sad is we're going to go home tonight and we're going to wake up next morning to the same scenes, the same atrocities, the same vicious cycle on and on again. But you all are the people that are chose to stand amongst the righteous. You chose to actually be here today to give back to this cause because you're human, because you feel this pain in your heart. This is the least we can give back to our brothers and sisters in Gaza. And when we see this infighting happening in our demonstrations, unfortunately, that is very hurtful. It's because we speak to our men that are currently in Palestine and Gaza and in Lebanon, and they never talk about what your sect is or what you believe in. It's never about that. Gaza has been always uniting the people together. What bleeds in Gaza, your brothers bleed all around the, the diaspora, even across the entire Middle East. Lebanon bleeds, Syria bleeds, Iraq bleeds, Egypt bleeds, Jordan, every single person next to it bleeds. But Gaza has united the people. And Gaza has also united the resistance. Gaza has also united the resistance that right now in a state of war, they're all fighting together with one clear enemy. So we have to be a reflection of that. We cannot bring shame to our men when they know what is happening in Toronto. They see everything that we are doing. And the people of Gaza are watching every single action we do. Wallahi, they sit and wait back and look forward to this. It's because this is how we give them a sense of hope. This is how we can give them a sense of life when we stand up for them here in Toronto. So a big shout out to every single one of you here. A big shout out to every single one of you here for actually standing up for an, on the right side of history and choosing to do what is right. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! 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 Men in the Mayan and Mayan! Men in the Mayan and Mayan! Palestine Hanabiyan! Palestine Hanabiyan! Oh, men in the Mayan and Mayan! Palestine Arabia! Palestine Arabia! Oh, Hurria! 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 Hurria!
الحرية أولى فلسطين الحرية أولى فلسطين الحرية والحرية حرية